Today, we remember the six million Jewish men, women and children who perished in the Holocaust, and also the Roma and Sinti and the countless other victims of its unprecedented horror and calculated cruelty. The Holocaust defined the United Nations. Our very name was coined to describe the alliance fighting the Nazi regime and its allies. Our charter was drafted in San Francisco as the Dachau concentration camp was liberated. The United Nations must always be on the front line of the fight against anti-Semitism and all other forms of religious bigotry and racism. Today, we witness an alarming resurgence of xenophobia and hate. Anti-Semitism, the oldest and most persistent form of prejudice, is rising yet again. Attempts to downplay or downright deny the Holocaust are proliferating. No society is immune to irrationality or intolerance. We must never forget that the Holocaust could have been prevented. The desperate pleas of the victims fell on deaf ears. Too few spoke out, too few listened, fewer still stood up in solidarity. Remembering the past is crucial to safeguarding the future. Silence in the face of hatred is complicity. Today, let us commit to never be indifferent to the suffering of others and never forget what happened or let it be forgotten by others. Let us pledge to always be vigilant and uphold human rights and dignity for all. Thank you. Dear friends and colleagues from around the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to this special concert marking the International Day of Commemoration in Memory of the Victims of the Holocaust. I am honored that the United Nations Chamber Music Society has asked me to speak to you. This year, the UN has chosen the theme of memory, dignity, and justice for our Holocaust remembrance and education programs. This concert speaks to that theme. Through music, we have an opportunity to remember the victims of the Holocaust and what they endured, but also the richness of their lives before the advent of Nazism. The music also serves as a reminder of our responsibilities today to do all we can to build a world in which the atrocities of the Holocaust do not ever happen again. If the phrase never again is to mean anything, then we must vigorously confront anti-Semitism, denial of the Holocaust and distortion of history wherever and whenever we find them. We must tackle racism and prejudice at the root and commit to celebrating the worth and the dignity of every member of the human family. My thanks to the UN Chamber Music Society. I hope everyone tuning in will enjoy this special concert. Thank you. Greetings. My name is Brenda Von Gova, founder of the UN Chamber Music Society. Today's special commemorative concert is held on the annual UN observance to honor the memory of the victims of the Holocaust. The Holocaust resulted in the murder of one third of the Jewish people, along with countless members of other minorities. It will forever be a warning to all people of the dangers of hatred, bigotry, racism, and prejudice. On this occasion, we are proud to present the artwork of the legendary artist Rory Nahum, titled Reflection. The painting is a powerful testament to human resilience and honors the victims of the Holocaust in everlasting memory. The classical music program will feature Jewish composers to instill the memory of the tragedy in future generations to prevent genocide from occurring again. It will also feature special performances from Maestro Berenboin's Divon Orchestra, which were performed in the Majdanek death camp in Poland and the Buchenwald concentration camp in Germany. I would like to thank all of the musicians and friends of the UN Chamber Music Society including the UN Undersecretary General for Global Communications, Melissa Fleming, for their incredible support on this occasion. Thank you for using memory to carry on the memories, scars, and stories of the survivors, those lost, and of their family members.
May the music you're about to hear help us reflect on the devastating suffering of the Holocaust and remind us all that the dignity of every human being must be protected and we are all equal. I thank you.
heart. What a joy last week in Hamburg. Such a wunderschön time with them. A house, a home, a room filled with love. Our voyage to Cuba tense, but filled with excitement, with hope for the future. Is there still a love beyond the seas? Happy days, a place where the island breeze sweeps away the humid air, where skin feels fresh to touch. The ship is silent, my passengers, staring at a freedom impossible to seize. I've begged the officials ashore to open their ports to receive these poor refugees, but they keep ignoring my pleas, declining the visas, raising the fees. Is life so cruel, a coldness that freezes their passage ashore? And can love vanish so fast, no loved ones to meet, no place to retreat? Does anybody still believe that God is love? Where
love my family with all my heart. What a joy last week in Hamburg. Such a wunderschön time with them. A house, a home, a room filled with love. Our voyage to Cuba tense, but filled with excitement, with hope for the future. Is there still a love beyond the seas? Happy days, a place where the island breeze sweeps away the humid air, where skin feels fresh to touch. The ship is silent, my passengers, staring at a freedom impossible to seize. I've begged the officials ashore to open their ports to receive these poor refugees, but they keep ignoring my pleas, declining the visas, raising the fees. Is life so cruel, a coldness that freezes their passage ashore? And can love vanish so fast? No loved ones to meet, no place to retreat. Does anybody still believe that God is love? Where has love gone? Where is that kind of love? Love.